Gonna make a quick video here to talk about my LS1 truck engine. It's a 5.3 iron block. Uh, as you can see, I have a, a Whipple AXO side mount 2.3 liter supercharger system added onto it. This has uh, new heads and a full top end rebuild, and I uh, put a cam and a timing set in it. The camshaft is from uh, Comp Cams and uh, it's uh, basically a very mild grind with a stock idle and it has slightly more lift, about 50 thousandths more lift over stock. I don't know what the duration, uh, how that compares to stock, but I do know uh, how the lift compares because I was able to measure the lobes myself. So it has about 50 thousandths more lift at the valve than stock and it's a stock idling cam. And I had trouble with uh, valve train noise I uh, originally started out with a set of lifters that I have right here. And uh, if you can read that, that's the Comp Cams model 8957. Uh, the Dash 16 is for a set of 16. So that's the Comp Cams 8957. Uh, they are a, uh, a retrofit link bar hydraulic lifter. Uh, they use link bars and uh, you delete the uh, the plastic trays and I had a lot of issues uh, with uh, very very loud loud clacking uh, it just got worse and worse as I ran the engine in uh, I documented that with a video last fall a couple of videos if anybody wants to listen to that very loud uh, I also had issues with push rod length I couldn't seem to uh, get the right push rod length no matter uh, what method I used and uh, I did I did a lot of very careful measuring and I uh, just couldn't get it to behave with the push rods that I originally measured uh, for the engine. Uh, they should have been 7 inches and 300 even. And then I switched to 700, 350, which I have the box right here. And uh, that improved the situation, but not by much. And uh, then I went to a, a set that was supposed to be 700 or yeah seven inches and 400 even and when I measured them though they are not they are actually more like uh, seven inches 420 and all of the all of the push rods are a little bit over when you measure these uh, these 350 ones they measure about maybe uh, 350 uh, 352 to 354 in that range they're, they're like about two or three thousandths over I can accept that that's not going to make or break you but uh, the uh, the seven inch four hundred set, they're twenty inches or twenty thousandths over. Uh, that's enough to make a difference. So, anyways, uh, I swapped those in just to see if uh, getting longer push rods would uh, help the situation. The engine would not run with uh, the seven inch four twenties. So I made shims, and uh, they look like this. This one here is uh, another one I made. These this is a forty thousand shim. And, the way it works is uh, these these engines have uh, on the heads they have this removable pedestal and you uh, you can just shim that up you can put the shim underneath there so it works like that and uh, anyways uh, I have a couple of sets of shims and I have a set of shims that are uh, thirty thousand so I ended up putting a thirty thousand shim under it then the engine ran fine uh, basically what I uh, was able to determine by doing that is. That was the longest set of push rods, the longest length that the engine would tolerate and still run. So I know that the noise is not coming from excessive lash. That's been ruled out. So anyway, the noise was really bad. I took those lifters out and uh, I bought a set of these here. And these are uh, Comp Camps just came out with these. And they call these the Evolution Lifters. And they are also a link bar lifter and uh, that deletes the, uh, the plastic trays. And then I immediately uh, switch back down to the the shorter push rod length with these, and the engine would not run. So uh, I don't know if the, if these I think these are supposed to be drop in identical to the others, but uh, I don't know that. But they will not run with the same push rods. So I swap back down to the seven and three fifties. And then it still wouldn't run with the Evolution lifters. So then I shimmed out 
the rocker pedestal here, put a shim under there that was 30 thousandths thick, and then that fixed it, the engine runs. So now I know I have the longest push rods. Basically, uh, the push rods come in increments of 50 thousandths. So if I have a 30 thousandths shim, then basically I can split the difference, come pretty close to splitting the difference between sizes. And uh, I can basically get the longest set of push rods in there that the engine will still run with. And that's the idea is to minimize the amount of lash that the, the lifters have to take up. So anyway, that's what I have in there now. And uh, so I've been running the engine in. It's uh, got about uh, 14 hours of runtime on it. And I have it here in the garage. And it's good and hot right now. It's been running for about a half an hour. So I'm going to start it up. Okay, so there's there's the underhood noise you have. You can hear a little bit of dull growl from the supercharger gears. That is normal. Give it a couple of revs here. Okay, so we have the truck is in the garage. The exhaust is piped to the outside so basically uh, all the exhaust noise has been isolated this is a bone stock exhaust I have on here just for test purposes because I want to hear all the underhood noise so basically I've taken all the exhaust noise out of it and you are hearing pretty much nothing but underhood noise So there's what you have. That's with a fully warmed up engine. It's good and hot. The oil is, is uh, operating temperature. And that's what you get on the right hand bank. And keep in mind that's with the wheel tubs removed. The wheels are off. Uh, so when you have those items installed that's going to block a lot of whatever you can hear right now. Go to the driver's side. So basically, you hear some dull clatter. It's kind of dull and even. There might be like one clicky one in there. And keep in mind, that's not what it started out like at the very beginning. They were, uh, they were clacky and noisy, and they had to be run in. This has been after about 14 hours of run-in time and a couple of oil changes. It's, it's got fresh oil in it now. I just changed the oil last night. And uh, it's improving. And it's, the run-in sessions are about a half an hour to an hour and you rev it and uh, you know you just try to get those things to run in and they, uh, they quiet down a little bit after each run-in. You, you have thermal cycling, you uh, let the engine cool off, and then start it up, run it in again. So that's what you get, and if it stays like this and maybe improves a little bit, 
over time I can accept that. I've been told by my cop cams, uh, cop cams rep that uh, this valve train is never going to sound as quiet as a stock valve train and the reasons for that are uh, number one the, the plastic trays are eliminated and uh, it's a link bar style lifter and the link bars have a little bit of noise and then you have a performance camshaft with a little bit more aggressive uh, profile the low profile and things like that and I understand that so uh, I do understand that this will never be as quiet as a stock valve train okay so I'm just making this video to document what I have after I changed I changed from these these lifters which were very very noisy I ran these with three different sets of push rods and now I've had to change to these lifters and this is what I have now and uh, right away they need a shorter push rod they probably would have run with the 7 inch 300 which is what I originally came up with for a measurement but uh, they also run with the uh, the 7 inch 350 if I have a 30,000 shim under the pedestal so that works too so basically I know I have the longest push rod that this engine will run with it can't get any longer it's definitely there's not an issue with the push rod length being too short and if you stand back away from the truck a little bit to the rear so uh, that's what it sounds like and uh, if you listen to the video before uh, compared to this it was horrible you could hear that clacking coming down the road a, a quarter mile away before and uh, you know you got a little bit of you got a little bit of dull clatter coming out of there now but it's it's tolerable and so like I say it didn't start out like that either it, it started out kind of noisy and it had to be run in and it's taken about 14 hours of run in time to get it where it is now So hopefully that's going to improve a little bit down the road. Thanks for watching.